today. Today we're going to talk about all of these engines that we use in our pump motor groups. To start with, this is the Vanguard 27 horsepower carburetted engine. We used to use these all the time. Uh, this was probably one of the popu most popular ones that we used. And we couple this to a Bertolini RAL 2535 premium pump via a gearbox. Um, the pressure and flow of this setup is 5,000 PSI at 24.7 litres a minute. You can see here 24.7 litres a minute at 5,075 PSI at 1450 RPM. So this has been a good engine over the years um, and as far as servicing the machine uh, they have engine oil in the, in the engine. There's an oil filter on this side. Fuel filters here. Uh, fuel pump. Uh, tappet adjustment. They run a Donaldson air filter. So the, the Donaldson air filter is like a two-stage air filter. You can see you have your main air filter and your inner filter. So as far as getting clean air to the engine, this is a I would say a superior system over the Honda. However, it is larger, like it, 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 it sits up a lot higher. So because of that, it means that your machine can't be as, as compact as, it, as, as you might want, want it to be. Right, that's um, we're using a gearbox and the Bertolini pump. Uh, some of the issues that we've found with this and the reason why we're not using the Vanguard anymore is uh, supply issues from Vanguard. Uh, we just couldn't get the machines fast enough. Um, they have had a few issues with starter motors on these. Uh, inlet manifold gaskets. As they age, you might find things like the choke doesn't stay out anymore. Uh, throttle cables have broken and the fuel pump inlet hose is in a bit of a vulnerable spot. I have seen guys throwing things in and, and break that off there. Um, but other than that, they've, they've, they've been a good engine. Okay, so then the next engine we have is the Vanguard 31 horsepower. Uh, this one here, um, we're using a gearbox and we're using a Bertolini pump. The Bertolini pump on this one is 31 litres a minute at 4,300 PSI. You can see that the revolution requirement is 1725 so it's a bit higher uh, which it can get a bit tricky trying to get the engine to spin fast enough for this so this is why for me personally I actually prefer that one because we've got the engine running in a, in a sweet spot to make the pump spin at the right speed which is on this one is uh, the 1450 rpm um, so the Vanguard engines we were using for a while, then we had the supply issues. Honda didn't actually have anything that was equivalent to say either of these engines until they finally brought out the, the fuel injected IGX 800. So you can see with this machine, the air filter is a lot smaller, uh, but it's also a lot lower as well, which means that when we're making it into a frame, we can actually bring the whole frame size down. Uh, and utilise it in different areas. So this one has a gearbox. Uh, this one here is the same pump, the RAL 2535 Premium, 24.7 litres a minute at 5,075 PSI at 1450 RPM. And that's the key here with the, this one. This engine, it being uh, uh, elect electronic fuel, fuel injected, you have an uh, electronic throttle. There's no choke to pull out on this anymore, which is really good and also the RPM of the engine is all governed electronically. So when we get to full, full RPM, it's going to stay steady at its full RPM. Whereas with the Vanguard engines, you have a mechanical governor system in here. So the, the, the top end RPM can fluctuate a little bit and as the engines do get a bit older, if the top RPM fluctuates a little bit, by the time the RPM gets to the pump, if that's fluctuating a little bit lower or whatever, 
that's going to affect the flow going out of out of the pump. So as the engines wear, if they're not tuned, you might find that it's not performing as it should wear. The IGX 800 with the electronic governing system is always going to run and give you a nice consistent flow. Uh, also, another thing on the uh, Honda IGX 800 engine is they have a what's called a, a low oil level sensor here, so that will sense when the oil level is low and prevent the engine from starting. Whereas on the Vanguard engine, you have a oil, oil pressure switch, low oil pressure switch, which is in here. And I, I do believe that the Honda system is a little bit superior over the oil, low oil pressure switch. Uh, then moving along, we have the IGX 800 again but this time we've got rid of the gearbox and we've made a, uh, an L bracket for the pump to sit on so that, and we're, we're using a two timing belt here with an electronic clutch inside which is controlled via a pressure switch in the unloader valve and that will give you belt adjustment, the ability to turn the pump on and off um, and we've got the rectifier hidden in here and the safety valve, there'll be a cover that goes over this. Uh, so, we're currently not using Vanguards anymore, we're using the IGX 800. Uh, can't use this setup on a 690 with this pump, but this pump, I believe, is, 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 is the cream of the, of the pick. And uh, servicing on one of these is the same thing, oil, check the air filter, adjust the tappets, uh, change the fuel filter, change the, uh, the pump pump oil, and uh, check the belt. Uh, I would say uh, belt replacement maybe uh, is checked every service, and if it uh, needs to be changed, we can do that part of the service. Uh, yeah, so that's all the machines that we, we're currently using. Mainly we're using the IGX 800s on our machines now, so uh, if you wanted a bit of a rundown, that's, that's a bit of a rundown.